Yo, yes now, bless now. Let me get my plug in. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to ramble for one moment, yeah? Because I don't know if this is going to record properly, in all fairness. Um, it's been a little bit of a pattern emerging. But anyway, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to type in here, search Des Rocksteady, because that's my artist profile, yeah? And I think we're going to be able to record. So what we're going to be doing today is having a listen through to Walls of Jericho, okay? Uh, from what I'm aware, it's the second release, uh, or maybe the first LP from Halloween, all right? So we checked out the first EP. I want to start getting into the actual power metal because I don't think we really delved into the power metal that is um, during our listen to the EP. Uh, it was pretty bloody good, though. Don't get me wrong. So we're going to start here. This one's Walls of Jericho. As always, I do have a Patreon, so if you want to check out all of the records as soon as they're recorded, I mean, you could be listening to uh, full-length um, listen-throughs, reactions, and ratings, and additional footage, um, you know, when I say footage, extra talks on the band, post-listen, and so on and so forth. Um, I will have a link down below, and uh, you know what I mean? I build up so many records in advance that you'll get in months before it's actually released uh sorry for the ramble there. i need to get used to all the plugging that's the first time i've properly plugged it but hey man's got to eat right so this first one's entitled starlight without further ado i won't bore you to death here we go i've no clue what to expect this has been put out by noise records <laughs> off of the ride the sky Compilation, it seems. The very best of 85 to 98. And here, Halloween fans, let me know if it's in the wrong order or if I'm listening to songs which aren't actually on the record. You know what I mean? Either way, I'm going to have a good time, okay? I don't know if this was on the EP, to be honest. Shall, shall we have a double check? Because I think I might have already listened to this number, you know. Because I remember that snoozing at the start. Let's have a quick dig here. Yeah? Starlight, song by Halloween. Okay, okay. Album Walls of Jericho. Yeah, I'm sorry people, we're getting off to a really long start. So feel free to engage in the comments. Leave me a hate message or something if you want to do so. Uh, that's no problem with me. The Halloween EP, right. Because I swear we had this tune on it. Track listening, Starlight, we did. Is this a re-record? You know what, we're not going to listen to it. We're not going to listen to this murderer, warrior, um, victim of fate, cry for freedom, right. These might have been re-recorded, but we're going to listen to some new music, all right? This one is Ride the Sky. Let's get on with it, people. Probably have a little advertisement. So there you go. I've, I've still got... It was a while since I listened to Halloween, but I've still got my head tuned in. That sample was memorable at the start. This is Ride the Sky. Let's go. Come on. Metal thrashing mad. This is exciting. This is like the first tune I've listened to throughout the entire day. It's uh, 4 p.m. over here as I record this. This is this is a nice breaking into my relaxation time. Come on. A tornado of melodic speed metal. Guitars, relatively simple for how intense it sounds. So 
I would just equate this to someone just blasting the power cords, open power cords in like a, a, a punk band. But you're palm muting and you're just tremolo picking consistent on that note. And you might vary it every once in a while. And of course we're going into like a chorus bridge-esque section right now where we've got a little more movement in the chord progression. And, and a little a little shout out to the bassist. The bassist was doing his own thing at, at one moment. Or maybe she. You know, I've been wrong before. This might be a, uh, let, let's have a look. Does it mention if this is a remaster? Ride the Sky intro, Ride the Sky live. N what? This can't be a live recording. Don't get me excited. Is this a live recording? I needed to check if it was a remaster because the quality is spot on for the 80s. Best tune they ever made. Right, after this there's going to be a guitar solo. There has got to be a guitar solo after this section. There has got to be. Come on. Would you call this a guitar solo? Or would this just be a leading melody? I'd like to say it's a guitar solo. Personally, I'd call it a guitar solo, but I was expecting some shred stuff. But we might move on to a little bit of shred. This might be the first half of the solo. <laughs> You can't say I don't know my metal people. <laughs> Trade offs. Plenty of tapping going on. Is there actually uh, somebody on keyboards in the band or have they just done that during the production? 
stages of things because it's not through the entirety of the recording but it comes in you know frequent enough for me to question is there actually someone on keys in the band you know what I say this with a lot of heavy metal bands, but I hear a bit of Maiden in this. I hear a little bit of Maiden. Ride the sky Yo, I got a question. Where do these heavy metal vocalists learn how to uh, sing like that? Because you can't just be in your house just b learning how to belt like that in key to that frequency. Like, how, 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 do, how do these front men do it? It's verging on operatic, like the high end of the register, a lot of these heavy metal vocalists, or a lot of these good heavy metal vocalists too. I wonder how they do it. This next song's entitled Reptile. So I'm looking forward to um, getting through this record. Purely as I know there's going to be some fantastic riffs in here, and I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I do hope there's a bit of variation in the riffs. Um, I got excited listening to the tremolo picking just then, but I don't want it throughout the entirety, just constant dig 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 you know what I mean? So hopefully we do switch it up a little bit. It'd be nice to hear a bit of a da 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 da, da like verging on a thrash metal-esque chug riff um, here and there. That'd be really good. But regardless, this one is entitled Reptile. So there's King of the Pit TV. We're listening to Walls of Jericho. If you're just signing in at this moment, we're listening from um, Reptile onwards. And that's purely because I, even if it's remastered for the LP, I have listened to the first five tracks already on this channel. Um, so we want a, a completely fresh new listening experience. And I listened to the first five through uh, listening to the Halloween EP. So this one's a type of reptile. Let's go. <laughs> Be with you in one moment. I'm gonna close that curtain. I don't want to be blinding yourself right here. One moment. Yes, now bless. Now we're back. This one's reptile. Let's get back into it. I'm really looking forward to the track Heavy Metal is the Law. That sounds solid. I got nothing too much to comment on this tune in particular at this moment in time. 
Um, yeah. Yeah, rhythmically, not necessarily for me. I'm not too fond of the drummer's pattern, just for... You got the double kick going, and it... Don't think it works too well for this particular riff. It's a bit... I don't know, a bit too old school for me, you know. Halloween fans, what do you think of this song in relation to the others? The production has put some respect on the bassist. The bass guitar really pops, really nice bass sound on this record. Very sexy. I don't like this chorus. To be honest, if we were to go back a track as well, um, Ride the Sky, just the repetition of the words Ride the Sky, I didn't like that too much either. I think there's a way to go on these chorus sections with this band, as of so far in particular, because just like, it's the reptile, reptile. It doesn't tickle my pickle, because we've got this, this world of melody in the verse sections and so forth. I wanted to throw it into the chorus as well, like even more so. Side note, my view is uh, subjective, okay? Uh, everyone's got their own taste, so don't come at me, people. I do enjoy the band. Right, let's keep it moving. Did we hear any synths during that tune? I don't think we did. So I don't think there's a fella on keys in band. Next we've got Guardians. Guardians of what? There's King of the Pit TV signing in. This one's Guardians. You know what we're doing. We're listening to Walls of Jericho. Let's go. Yeah. 
I like the uh, vocal on this tune. He's just peppering it out. Like, not in that really high-end register as well, like a little more middle ground. And I think he sounds good for it. I like it. Yo, I'd say, I'd say I'd like him to stick within this register of his vocal for most of the music and then hit that falsetto during the choruses or something. Alright, let's make a comment. Let's make a comment, yeah? I had a comment, yeah, I had a criticism. On Reptile and Ride the Sky, I thought, you can write a good song, you can do a good melody in your verses, why is your chorus Ride the Sky over and over? And in Reptile, why was your chorus just Reptile, Reptile, Summit, Summit, Summit? It wasn't, it wasn't very, it didn't have the melody I wanted from this band. But this chorus, Oh, dude, it's at 420. The the song length here is 420 as well. Dude, this is this is this is a quality song. I'm gonna go back on that chorus. We're gonna hear it again in the song, aren't we? But let's do it. Come on. Get these lot on the Eurovision Song Contest, please. Very nice. Oh yeah, you commenters have got me scared of saying triplets nowadays because somebody was proper heavily like this. Nah, it's not triplets. It's a gallop. Blah blah. I thought a triplet was a gallop, and a gallop was a triplet essentially. Or I thought a gallop was a triplet because I know that you know a triplet isn't a gallop. Doesn't have to be right. But I thought a gallop was a triplet. People, let me know, please. Because I, I didn't know if he was incorrect or if I was wrong. These are triplets, aren't they? At least, uh, dig it in, dig it in. That's a triplet, isn't it? Same, uh, they've got to be an East Standard. That's Barracuda, innit? Ooh, Barracuda! I mean, the lead guitar is nice, it's tasty, but in this band, I want to be on rhythm. I want to be on rhythm in this band. Yo, 
Oh yeah, I, I, I was singing along and I think he just hit me with a key change there. Puppets on a string. Oh, Irene. Oh, oh, let's go back. That shouldn't have been an outro. Dude, that's what I wanted. I wanted to hear some ruthless thrash riff just come out of nowhere. Oh, dude, when the um, drumming dropped out there and you just had the bass hits on that riff, dude, I want to hear a proper riff like that when the drums come in. I want to hear a proper, proper mosh riff, mate. we got Phantoms of Death coming up. Let's go. There's King of the Pit TV. This one's Phantoms of Death. All right, we got, we got, we got given uh, mosh riff blue balls at the end of that Guardians tune. That Guardians track was my favourite one so far uh, from today's listening. Uh, it was really good. I liked it. This one's Phantoms of Death. Let's keep it moving. <laughs> Hold on. Yo, I'm gonna give that a little reload. Bullet! Jeez, we're getting into some uh, heavy lyrical content here. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna ruin it for you. This is six minutes thirty. I was gonna go back on the intro riff. I was gonna go back to that riff. Why has this got the same amount of views as like the other two tunes we've heard before? That riff is incredible. That is such a good riff. That felt a bit disjointed. This, this, this is so good. This is so good. This is so good. Oh, I've been complaining about the last choruses, aside from Guardian saying, it's just so basic. Like, the guy's got a great voice, knows how to hit a melody. Why don't he have some epic chorus? Dude, this was hard. This went perfect with that chord progression on the guitars. And then, boom, you get kicked in the face with that riff again. <laughs> Yeah, 
So this bit is questionable to me, but I don't mind it. I think from here we're going to go back into what I felt was like just a bit disjointed and a bit sort of a... It doesn't flow too well to the next section if it if it repeats itself. You know where I'm, where I'm coming from, you'll hear it. I think it changes key as well, but not in a great way. Like that. I, I could sort of get with it there, but when it goes that do 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 do, that, um, you know, selection of notes there, it just doesn't sound like it's modulated correctly into a separate key, you know where I'm coming from. The squealies are crazy though. Okay, okay, right. We're halfway through the track, yeah? I'm not a fan of long tracks, so it does it does wear my patience quite thin, but this tune in particular is a good tune, and I'm going to say this is the best tune so far, by far, definitely. This is a really good track. This has got some brilliant riffs. <laughs> And we've got Metal Invaders coming up next. That shouldn't let me down. Metal Invaders should not let me down. Hell of a lot of tapping. I think he incorporates tapping into every one of his solos. This one guitar. Is. The uh, guitar solos getting a bit boring now. Uh, they, they, how interested I am in the guitar solo depends completely on the rhythm guitar and what riff we're doing. It's all about the riff in this band to me. It's all about the riff. Here comes the riff. Come on.
That riff should be the entire song. Should be the entire song. That was sick. That was sick. That was sick. That was sick. That's that's going to be hard to beat. Metal Invaders is either going to go two ways. It's either going to be really corny but still kind of cool because it's about metal, or it's going to have the riff. It's go or it's going to continue the riff because that was the riff. It's going to continue. The I hope it continues the riff. I hope it continues the riff. Grammarly. I'm, yeah, I'll even I'll even take the advertisements. I'll even take the Grammy advertisements because I'm stoked on that riff. Des King and Pit TV, Metal Invaders, yo, we're on a high right now after listening to Phantoms of Death. Without further ado, let's get into it. Come on, give me a riff. Little speed metal, yeah, give me, give me that, give me that heavy metal. Give me, give me that. Give me that video game music, come on. that reverb or is it delay what the hell is that metal invaders ready to strike yo i bet so many people got gassed over that i'm a metal invader battle jacket on judas priest back patch on dio across the chest there. Metal Invaders ready to strike me. really hard to um, follow on from the tune Phantoms of Death. It's really hard to do, uh, you know, in comparison. What can I say? This is a good tune. This is an exciting tune, but hmm, uh, Phantoms of Death, I'm still reminiscing over it. You know what I mean? Um, that's, like, that's like eating a lovely sugary treat, which once it's gone, it's gone. I'm just 
thinking back. It's like popping a spot, a really satisfying spot, yeah. Once you do it once, you can't get it back, man. I'd say this is a headbanger, but it's not a mosh tune. It's not one for the pit, it's one for the headbang, innit? Because that, that beat is consistent. That guitar, more or less all the way through. Great falsetto, there you hear that. That that was one of the better vocal lines there. Cool, that was Metal Invaders. It was a good tune. Don't advertise on Google Ad It was a good tune, but man, Phantoms of Death, I told you, it set the standard. It set the standard. I've 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 fallen into a bad position here purely as this laid the foundations of power metal in it. It's not a thrash metal band, so well, you know, I, I could call it a heavy metal band, but I think from what I've heard so far, they just emphasise on the tremolo pick as opposed to um, you know the the downward ignorant. But I want. Oh, I'm so excited over that Phantoms of Death, right? There's King of the Pit TV. This one's entitled Gorga. All right. Uh, I don't think we're on the official Halloween page anymore. So let's check the uh, comments. Second best Halloween album after Kepa Part 1. What do you think? Is that right? Young, raw and fresh. This dude says there's so much Master of Puppets production in the whole record. Master of Puppets hasn't really connected with me uh, whilst I've listened to this. But I agree that... As uh, In Requiem said, it is also made. The production has been brilliant. Right. Okay, what? what? I've always wondered why the guy who mixed the Halloween EP, Walls of Jericho and Judas, did it so bad. This this guy's getting deep on uh, the production value. I will listen to the song, by the way, people, but we're, we're having a little deep dive in the comments. If you're a Halloween fan, these are your people right here, so don't get too excited over me having a quick check out, right? This is for the people. In other songs, the harmonic part is just a mess. It's impossible to understand mix of sounds. Example, Metal Invaders. Uh, Julia, I'm going to have to check what response you got, because I think the production's good on this record. For an 80s sound, I think it's well polished. They should re-record a few songs of this album since the power metal was born with this album. So is this the record where power metal was established? This set the roots. Right. 
Anyway, we won't delve too deep because I'll be here forever. This one's entitled Gorga. Let's go. I think this production's really good. Oh, where are we going? Dude, I hope it drops on this riff. I hope it drops on this riff. Let's go from the start. Especially with that intro. Get the pit open, people. Get the pit. I'm getting the pit open. I'm getting the pit open. Just start falling back on everyone. Open that pit. Where are we going with this? That, that that little lead guitar on top didn't make it better, I'll tell you that. Where are we going? Yo, do you know what this is? This is um Metallica. Ding This can't be happening to me. What what tune's that? Trapped, it's not, it's not trapped under ice, is it? it um, de -de, de -de -de -de. I'm trapped under ice. Is it trapped under ice? Like, even the first line of the vocal sounds like a Hetfield. All right. When he came in at the exact time. Am I thinking of Trapped Under Ice? I liked the phrasing of the first two lines. You spend, what is it? You spend or you're spending all your money, but you never win. It's very bold. I, I like it. I like the phrasing. I like the way it's been placed on the track there. Really. <laughs> Solo. Even better than the, uh, da, 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 is the, uh, is it the bass guitar? What's going to, da, 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 da. that's a really unique sound. I'm sure it's very easily done, but I never hear that on records. <laughs> Where 
what's he doing? He's hitting it, but just like muting it straight away. The, 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 just jittering it. I'm spitting all over my laptop here. <laughs> Okay, cool. So in response to that, I'm asking you, the listener, what do you think of the production? What do you think of the production value? Could it be better? Do you like it as it is? What do you think? Next, we have Heavy Metal Is The Law. Now, this has got to be a banger. This has got to be a banger. I'll tell you what, Metal Invaders had a, had a tough job, had big, had big boots to fill with what came before it. But now, Heavy Metal Is The Law. We could be onto something here. I'm hoping we got a metal moshing man. Yes, now bless now. Don't forget the rest now. You know what time it is. Walls of Jericho. We're listening through the record. This one is heavy metal. Is the law? What can I say? I've got high hopes. All right. Let's get in with it. Come on. Fastest riffing we've heard so far. Is that the fastest tremolo picking? Uh, how many people paid attention to this has learned any Halloween on the old? The old six string, let me know. There's a lot of reverb added onto the vocals. It's not a real live recording, is it? This can't be really live. Uh, that'll just be like, you know, a little bit of production magic. It'd sound too good if that was live. <laughs> Oh, does anybody know the uh, metalcore band Walls of Jericho? I might check them out soon.
I've never heard that before. Um, trade off unison bends, and it was really emphasised with the bass guitar. I like that a lot. I like that. <laughs> I mean, guitar solos tend to be just guitar solos, so it's nice to hear like some actual unique ideas thrown into them. I mean, they should be approached just like the riffing, be unique, man. It's crazy how they've tried to recreate the live sort of sound. What have they done? They've just done like a gang chant in the studio and they've just really echoed the hell out of it. There we go. Heavy metal is the law. Heavy metal is the law. Let's keep it moving. How many tiers? I think seven minutes sixteen. This is the longest one on the record. This blonde bombshell here giving us a little introduction. Let's keep it moving. There's King of the Pit TV. This is how many tiers? Walls of Jericho start to finish. Let's go. That double kick. I like the bassist, you know. Um, I think low key the bassist might be my favourite part of the band because he's not afraid to go off on his own and just go for a little bit of a noodle, even within this like tight metal structure. And I, I, I really appreciate that. <laughs> Sorry people, it's getting a bit later here now. I started listening to this record when it was like gleaming light outside, but uh, it's simmering down a bit now.
You know what? As we start to finish the record, essentially, I'm starting to appreciate the lead guitars a little bit more regarding the solos. They they are quite unique, and there is a little more of a quirky feel to them, rather than you just your traditional shred. You know what I mean? Oh, this is something new. We've got a really nice melodic bridge coming up here. Reintroducing the synth. That little harmonic there. You heard how that harmonic rings, that's incredible. Cause he, he just hits it as a note and then it rings into that harmonic. Great resolve, I wonder where we go from here. Are we gonna just go back to an old riff or are we gonna kick into like the mega riff? Even cleaner, wow. That drum roll there sounded like a machine gun coming into that. I like that very faint harmonising backing vocal there. It might not even be like a literal vocal, it might be a synth of some sort of preset, but let's check it out. I think it might be real, I think it might be real.
All of that. You know what? You know what? They didn't emphasise enough on the last card to do all of that. That was very dissatisfying. Unless this next tune, the last one, like is on the exact right chord and it kicks straight in. That that was an incredibly unsatisfying build up. I needed a real strong, perfect resolve and cadence at the end there. After seven minutes fifteen. People, people, Halloween Judas is coming up next. Let's finish this record. Yeah, that, that that was the blue ball of a lifetime. We got a few comments on here. Eva says, super classic power metal. Hell of a track, pure speed metal. This is a true speed metal hymn, I like that. Okay, someone said, best albums, I can only compare it to The Dark Ride. Was that another Halloween record or? Who knows? Right, we're locked and loaded. Des, King of the Pit TV, we're finishing off this record. This is Halloween. Uh, we've been listening to the record, Walls of Jericho. Although, is it even Walls of Jericho? Because in the comments it says, uh, Halloween Ride the Sky is available now. So I suppose that might be a compilation record that uh, Noise Records have put out. Uh, I don't know. Have I been listening to a random jumble of songs? Maybe I have done. If so, I would like you to blame um, Halloween themselves because they've done the playlist. So, you know, in hindsight, it's probably right, isn't it? This is Judas. That was Judas with no volume. This is Judas with volume. Let's go. Heavy metal. if you got a nice pair of speakers that double kick blows them up man because that kick is so emphasized on the production of this record <clears throat> no doubt he's got two kick drums as well right no way is this guy dealing with the one kick drum in a band like this Check this out. Anyway, Ride the Sky, the very best compilation. You've got the artworks in the back. I only just clocked onto that. So, is the one we're listening to on, on this? Because that's the EP, that first one. So, surely, I would assume the second one is what we're listening to at the moment, Walls of Jericho, but that, I don't think that's the artwork, is it? Unless it's Shroud... Well, is it covered up by the sticker, perhaps? I don't think this is going to surprise me, so I'm going to say it right now, unless the riff of a lifetime comes up. The best track on this record has been Phantoms of Death. Phantoms of Death is a real quality metal banger, in my opinion.
you know what? I haven't really followed the lyrical content too much. I'll see if they've got the lyrics in here. Uh, they might not, but what I want to say is that it doesn't necessarily... It's got religious connotations, obviously, definitely, but it doesn't necessarily seem like it's on the side of the devil, which is a very refreshing change. I mean, I don't really listen to, you know, overt Christian music, but, you know, I guess if if this is how I'm perceiving it, you know, telling that Judas, you done goofed, mate, then that's a nice refreshing change from... Oh, you know what I mean? It sounds like most of these solos have been written. Like, these don't come across to me like improvised solos. Which is crazy if it's the case. Not the best chorus. We've done it again, we've not had that cadence. We've finished on the fifth and we want to end on the one. Is that correct, theoret theoreticians or whatever you call them? music theory maestros? There's no cadence, there's no perfect cadence. Right? That, that was the Halloween record. Dude, that was some very concentrated, powerful metal. Um, if you want to hear my rating and like overview and review of this record, and if you want to get a hold of these uh, full album reviews way, 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 way before uh, you even catch on to me uploading the first song of the record on YouTube, uh, check the link. I've got my Patreon. And uh, yeah, support the underground. I'm signing out.